everyone, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. I am Kelly and today I'm so excited about this video. It has been sponsored by Cricut and we are going to be using this amazing machine here which is the Cricut Joy and we're going to be making some autumn decor. You know autumn is my favourite so I am so excited. We're going to be personalising these white salt and pepper shakers. You can get these so affordable from many different places and I'm going to just make them a little bit more autumnal, add some pumpkins and that kind of thing and show you how I'm going to do it. So first of all, I'll just give you a little bit of information on the machine. So this is the Cricut Joy and it cuts a variety of different materials from card to vinyl. You can also pop in um, pens and it will do drawings for you on things like cards or you can make your own stickers. You can use it to personalise anything and it's so quick and easy, about 15 minutes and yeah, it, I just love it. So you can get this little travel case for it. It's perfect for on the go. It's so small and handy. You just take it out and about with you. You can make these things anywhere you go. So the Cricut Joy uses all the smart materials which are usable without one of the mats, just making it even easier to take with you and make things as quick as you want. So the app that we use for this is Cricut Design Space. And they have so many different projects on here that you can use. They have loads pre-loaded on here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna look through and find something I can use to decorate my salt and pepper pot. So I want something to go around it in orange and I want something autumn or fall inspired. So I'm just typing in autumn wreath because I want that kind of circle. So I think I'm gonna go for this one here. I like the different colors in it. And then I'm gonna click on it and then add to canvas. And this brings it onto this kind of like grid canvas for you. So this is where you create your own designs. You can add all different shapes and text. You can add images. There's also templates here and you can also resize your design. There's so many different things you can do. So I am just going to resize this to what I think is going to fit around here and it tells you the centimetres on the side so you can see if it's gonna fit. So I did have a little measure earlier and I think I need it about six centimetres all the way around. So I'm just going to take it down until it is about six. That is all we need to do there because I don't need anything in the middle of that because I've already got my letter. So I'm gonna come up to here on the green button and I am just gonna click make it. And it's so easy it tells you exactly what you need, what mat you need, and it tells you when to put each material in. So you can see here, it's gonna do, because of the three different colors, it's gonna do three different cuts, but it will tell me when to put each color in. Now it's asking here how I'll load my materials for this project. Now I'm using the Smart Vinyl Permanent, so I'm gonna opt for without a mat because you can see it says for smart materials only, and that's what we're using. So no mat needed, and click done. So I'm gonna get my orange out ready for the first cut. So I've got my sheet of bright orange for my first cut. So I've connected to the Bluetooth and I found my Cricut Joy to be connected to. Now it's gonna ask what base material I am using. So I'm gonna opt for Smart Vinyl Permanent here. Tells you what to do, so load your tools and materials. Mine is already done, but say if you were using a pen or something, you just open this little catch here and then this is the blade that slides out and then you would take that out and then you would slide a pen in like that and then close the latch again. But we need the blade because we are cutting. So I'm just gonna make sure that is all in there again. And then it's asking to load materials in the machine. So if I just move that to the side a little bit, I'm gonna bring the machine a bit closer so you can see what it's doing. So I'm gonna slide this into the machine. So it's got guides on where you slide your material in. It's got two little catches that it goes under and it starts rolling to pull the material in. 
then it just checks to make sure you've got enough material that will come up. Then once it's ready, it's happy you've got enough material, click go and it will cut your design for you. When your project is complete, you have to click unload and that will unload the material, never just pull it out. So unload it, that will get it out of the rollers and then you can pull it out. And then it can be quite hard to see before you cut it out, but I don't know if you could see the outline of that there. Load my materials again. And then I'm gonna click go and it will start cutting those little bits there. And then the last cut, we're going to use a green one. Again, it is a Smart Vinyl Permanent. And it's going to check that I've got enough. And then click Go again. And it's just going to do those last few little bits to make sure we've got the three different colours that we want. And that is done already so so quick so we're gonna unload and then that's done and we don't need that anymore okay so i've got my three different patterns on my three different colors what i'm gonna do is just cut around them just so i'm not working with all this excess vinyl sometimes it can get in the way Okay, so now I've got my patterns on a little square of vinyl and I'm going to use the weeding tool to take off the excess vinyl so we can see the shape that we've got. So this is a really handy little tool just to, just to pick up the edges and then carefully pull this vinyl back. So that is the main orange wreath. I just have a few of the other kind of coral colour and the mint to stick on top just to add a bit more dimension and a bit more colour. So now to get this vinyl off of this and onto my project, I need to use the transfer tape. So I'm just gonna cut a little bit of that to use. So you just need enough to fit over your design that you've got. So I'm gonna peel the transfer tape off and you're left with this sticky film that has the grid print on it so you can ensure your projects are straight. Then I'm just gonna stick that on to my wreath. And then this is where we need the scraping tool. So we need to really scrape and make sure that vinyl is stuck to the transfer tape. So then as we peel off the transfer tape, the vinyl should come with it like so and then we can transfer this onto our little pot so just get it in the right place and then stick down and then we're just going to rub it again with our scraper and then once it's all stuck down, peel off your transfer tape and it will leave the vinyl behind. Like so, and then you can just smooth over bits, just make sure it is stuck. So that is the first layer done. So now we just do exactly the same. I'm gonna reuse this transfer tape. Other corally color. So I've got it on my transfer tape. Okay, so I'm just smoothing that and peel it off. Oh, give it another little rub if it doesn't come off the first time. Ooh. There we go, there's my second colour. And then the same process, I'm just going to use the green. But that is my little salt shaker all done. And it's definitely given it that autumnal touch. So I'll do my pepper one later, but I wanted to show you 
two of the other things that I've done so far. So how cute is this? Totally me, it's a little just plain white mug. Again, I used the, a reef design and then I just added autumn vibes into the middle. So that is the perfect little autumn mug. And then also this sign, which is my favorite thing I have made. So I bought the wooden pumpkin and I just added this farmer's market little vinyl. So I know I'm gonna use this machine so much in the future. My daughter has got a lot of birthday parties coming up over the next few months and she's really excited to give this a go and personalize maybe them some key rings or keychains or water bottles. She also really wants to make all of their birthday cards with it. But I just think we're gonna be using this literally every month for birthdays or seasonal decor, Christmas presents, things like that. There's so many different things you can make and I can't wait to explore those. But yeah, thank you so much for watching and thank you Cricut for sponsoring this video. I've had so much fun and I hope it has shown you what you can make with your Cricut machine and how easy and travel friendly the Cricut Joy is. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!